Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how to disassemble and reassemble the A5 screen to get to the board underneath here. So to do this, the only tool we're going to need is our 2 millimeter Allen wrench. So the first thing that we have to do is take the yellow screen off. So I like to have a little cup that I can put all these in so I don't lose them. So we have to take off these four around the outside edge. This one here. There we go. This one right here, that one right there, and then that one right there. I'm going to take all four of these out. Now, if you can't get to this one, you can twist this bolt right here. It's called a lead screw, and we can twist it, and this will come all the way up and kind of get it out of the way so we can get to it. You can move the nozzle out of the way too. You can just push it right over here to the side. And then now, there we go, my Allen wrench fits right underneath there. And if you use the long end, it's actually rounded so you can t turn at an angle to pull it out. There we go, all right, and then we got our fourth one out. Now, the screen just lifts right off. We can kind of move it to the side. And if you're replacing the screen, all you would do is unplug this right here and then take these bolts off around the edge. So you would hold this Allen wrench in right here and then hold this with a pair of pliers and unscrew each one of those. And then you'll take this screen out and put the new screen in with the bolt, the spacer, and then this nut on the end. And you'll do that all the way around if we were changing the screen. But in this case, we're gonna get to the board. So these four hold the fan and these two hold the fan shroud. So we're gonna undo these two to get to it. There we go. And then now this lifts right up. Now if we were replacing this board fan, we would do the same thing. We'd hold this with a pair of pliers and then unscrew each one of these with our two millimeter Allen wrench. Put the new fan on with the label pointing out so you can see it. And then it plugs in right here, right next to this green tower right here. That's where that fan plugs in. And if you look, it even says fan and a plus and minus right on there. If you look right down on the board, you can see where it says fan and then plus and minus right there. Whoop, back it up a little. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off because now we're ready to get to our board. So to remove the board, we can move this plate back. And then these are little standoffs, this gold one and this one. And you just unscrew those and they take it right out. And of course, we've got our board unplugged before we start. And then now this lifts right up. And what we do now is we just unplug all of these plugs. So we have all across this edge here, we have our X and then this one. This one is our Y, then our Z and our E. So we take each one of those out, and you can hold down on the heat sinks right here, but be careful not to push down on the capacitors, which are the other things that are on here. And we can pull each one of those out. And then on this side, on the end right here, this is our thermistor. And if you look down in there, it even says E-temp down there next to it, and that's the one on the very end. So we go ahead and take that one out. And then this, we have our Z, our Y, and our X right here. And if we look, it even says Z stop, Y stop, and X stop. That's when it stops and it knows that it's at zero. So we take each one of those out by just squeezing and pulling up. Then we have the screen right here, so we can squeeze this and pull it up. And try to hold on to the sides of the board when we do this. And then now these right here, these two are the fan. So if you're replacing the fan, you'd put the wires in right here. And these two right here, these are our thermistor or the heater, or excuse me, the heater core. So we'll use a small screwdriver to take these out. So we can get the tiny screwdriver that came in the bag with your 3D printer. Go ahead and loosen that, whoop, and I'll hold the edges of it while I do it. And these just need to be loosened. They don't come out, they just get loose. Now, if it's really stuck like this one, and it just really doesn't want to come out, 
then it's okay to cut it right here at the edge and then we'll strip it and feed it back in there. So we, I'm just going to cut this one right here. So now we can send this board back with the return label or put our new board back on there. Now to put the board back, what we'll do is we want to line it up like this and then we're going to put everything back in all the way back across. So if you had to cut one of these wires, we can go ahead and strip this tiny one right here. So I kind of cut all the way around the rubber coating and then pull up. There we go. And then now we've got the exposed end. So now we'll take these black and white wires and they go in here first. And we'll put the red wire right here, kind of in between these little terminals right here. We can kind of see in between there. And you can loosen this a little so you can see a little more. So we'll put the red one in between that slot and then tighten this little screw on top. And that will hold it down. Not too tight, just tight enough to be snug. And then we'll take the black one and that one goes in right here next to it. And then tighten that. Then we'll skip the middle two and go to the outside and put the heater core in here. Now it doesn't matter which one's which, so we'll go ahead and put these heater core wires back in here. There's one. And tighten. And I like to do this when it's not attached, but you can attach it back if you want. Then we'll take this one and put it right here. Make sure they both go in and tighten it. There we go. Make sure they're all nice and snug. And then now we're going to plug our cords in. So if we look right here, we've got fan. And then this says X stop, Y stop, and Z stop. And then over here at the end, E temp. So we're going to line these up exactly with those same things. So we have our fan, which is this right here. So that goes first right here. Then we have our X. We can see it says X and then Y and then Z. We can see those are written right there. X, Y, and Z are written on the board. So we can look at these and this one says Y. So that one goes right here. Go ahead and push it down on there. And then we have this one which says X and it goes right here. And they only line up one way, and you'll see where they little kind of snap in place there. And then push it down and make sure it locks in place. And then we have this one right here, which is the Z. And then that one locks right there. Then we have the thermistor that we talked about. That goes in the one that says E-temp on the end. Now on the other side, we've got these labeled too, X, Y, Z, and E. So we can see our X goes right here. Then we look and see on our label, what's this next label? This one's Y, so that one's right there. Then we have the Z right here. Whoop, make sure that stays on there. And then right here, we have the E. Now our screen, it comes underneath our board. So we can kind of see our screen right here. You can see this ribbon. It comes out through the top right here. So this is our screen. So the screen is coming out through the top and underneath the board and then coming up underneath it and plugging in right here. And that is just for wire maintenance so we can just not have a bunch of wires sticking out. And then we'll take this board and kind of move it around and you'll see it'll line up with these two bolts right here. This bolt and that bolt. And we'll take our end stops here Go ahead and twist them back on there. These are our spacers, not end stops. I don't know why I said end stop. Little, they're standoffs is what they're called. There we go. And then with these cords, we kind of push them underneath and make sure they're kind of under the board. And then we'll take our fan and then move this wire 
with the back, around this back end stop. And then this goes right back here on top. And you might have to kind of push it to kind of line it up. But you'll see it'll line up with those holes. And we'll put each one of those back on there. And we'll take our 2 mil Allen wrench and tighten them down. Doesn't have to be super tight, just enough to be on there. There we go. And then our screen, it fits right here. And take our four bolts and put them right back in there for the screen. All right, now that this is nice and snug, we can go ahead and plug it in. And then we're all ready to go. So good luck taking the board out or putting the new one in. And if you need any help at all, reach out to us at service at nwa3d.com and we'll get you going. Have fun. Thank you.